you can use your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch to control the SRT7000. To do this you need to download the app from the App Store called STB Remote Con. Once you've downloaded that app you'll see this icon appear on your phone or iPad. Select the app. In the first section of the, of the app you need to add the target IP address. You can find the target IP address in the IP settings menu of your SRT7000. When you're setting up the STB Remote Con remote control app on your mobile device, you will need the target IP address. To find the target IP address of the receiver once it's connected to your network, press the menu button, select system settings, and then select IP settings. In this menu, you'll be able to see the IP address listed on the top there. Once you've entered the target IP, you need to then enter the pin. The pin is four zeros and you need to enter the port, which is 5161. The pin and the port are always the same uh, characters, the same digits, um, and they are default. Once you've entered these, uh, all these digits, then turn the connect option on, and then you'll see the uh, remote control come up on the screen. From here, you can scroll to get the rest of the buttons, or you can make that smaller to have all the buttons on the one screen. Once you've done that, now you'll have full control of the SRT7000. The SRT7000 also allows you to stream recorded content on your hard drive to your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch using the app AirPlayer. When using the AirPlayer app to stream files from your SRT7000 to your mobile device, you need to activate the iShare function running on the box um, and set it up as a server. To do this, press the menu button, select Media Manager, and then select iShare. Once in the iShare menu, set the mode to server. Once you've done that, press the red button on the remote control to start the server running on the SRT7000. Once you've done this, you can now access the AirPlayer app and view all the recorded files you have on your SRT7000. You can purchase the AirPlay app from the App Store. Once you've purchased and downloaded the app to your device, start the AirPlay app running. And once you've started running, the, the app will start searching for media or servers that are active on your network. The SRT7000 will come up as server set top box. You select that option, and then to view recorded files that you've recorded onto the hard drive, you select the records folder. Here you have a list of all the recorded files that are on the, the hard drive of the SRT7000. Then you can select either, either of those by touching on them. You'll have the video file come up. You select that and then the file will begin streaming from your yes. SRT7000 to your mobile device. From here you have full control. You can pause, rewind and adjust the volume of the program that's being streamed from the SRT7000.